Important anatomical sites are indicated in the picture for your convenience. Remember, the nearer you can stand to the horse, the better you can feel what the horse is going to do, and the more she will have an idea what you are planning. It also minimizes injuries, as the horse cannot build up speed if she is trying to kick you. Picking up a front leg. Stand next to the horse's shoulder, facing the tail. Lean into the horse. The horse will shift her weight to the other front leg, making it easier to pick up the leg. Starting at the shoulder, slide your hand down the horse's leg to the level of the flexor tendons, at the back of the leg below the knee. Firmly exert pressure on the flexor tendons with your finger and thumb. The horse will lift its leg. You can also place your hand under the fetlock joint and use the elbow to bend the knee. Immediately release the pressure and slide your hand around to the front of the cannon and support the leg. This movement must be fairly quick or the horse will put his foot down again. Now with your free hand, grasp the underside of the pastern or the front of the hoof wall. When you release the leg, grasp the cannon again and release the hoof. Now lower the foot to the ground. Never drop the foot as the horse is frequently not concentrating and may have relaxed all the muscles in that leg. If you suddenly let go, the foot drops to the ground and it may be injured. Picking up a back leg. Important anatomical sites are indicated in the picture for your convenience. Always start at the neck and touch the horse all the way so that it knows where you are. Keep your body close to the horse's body as it improves communication between you and the horse. Stop just in front of the horse's hind limb facing the tail. Move the hand nearest to the horse from its neck down to the pastern level on the lateral side. Maintain this contact until you have picked the foot up. You can use your body and lean into the mare to move her weight to the other side, thus facilitating the lifting of the foot. Again, gently but firmly, exert the pressure on the flexor tendons or exert upwards pressure on the sesamoid bones at the fetlock joint. Many times, the horse lifts its leg, anticipating that you're going to pick it up. When the horse lifts up his leg, Using that same hand, in the same position, firmly pull the leg forward and towards you. Now you walk forward, still holding the leg with two hands, and in doing so, you will stretch the horse's leg out backwards. When the flexor tendons, or cannon bones, are perpendicular to the ground, stop. Rest the horse's hoof on your closed knees. The horse's hock should at this stage be under your arm. When you release the leg, grasp the hock or cannon and release the hoof. Now lower the foot to the ground. Never drop the foot as the horse is frequently not concentrating and may have relaxed all the muscles in that leg. If you suddenly let go, the foot drops to the ground and it may be injured. 